Dr. Nancy Kemeny is renowned worldwide for her pioneering work in using hepatic arterial infusion to treat liver metastases in patients with colorectal cancer. She and her group work collaboratively with a team of surgeons and radiologists to determine the best approach for each patient. In this presentation, she reviews the hepatic arterial infusion clinical procedure and discusses the encouraging outcomes we've seen from this therapy. For many patients, this is a systemic disease. But in some patients, there's a liver predominant or liver only site. The way this develops is that there's a stepwise pattern of metastatic disease. The Mets start in the colon and rectum and move up the portal vein to the liver. So if you can control the disease in the liver, you actually can control the disease. So one of the ways is to, to resect the disease. Unfortunately, a number of patients do not have resectable disease. And these are the patients that we try to treat with hepatic arterial infusion to decrease the volume of disease so they can become resectable. Now, one of the advantages we have is that liver metastases are perfused by the hepatic artery, while the normal liver is perfused by the portal vein. Therefore, we can put drugs directly into the hepatic artery to get this reduction. And also, there's certain drugs that are extracted by the liver so that the drugs actually remain in the liver and we don't get systemic toxicity from those drugs. One would be FUDR. So for using FUDR, we can combine it with our new and good systemic agents. These are the results we obtain with liver resection of colorectal liver metastases. There is no way we can produce the five-year survival shown here with chemotherapy alone. When possible, liver resection does improve five-year survival. We have shown liver resection can produce 30 to 40 percent five-year survival. However, after resection, 70 percent of patients will recur, 50 percent in the liver or in some extrahepatic site. Therefore, we feel we should treat these patients with hepatic arterial infusion to treat the liver directly, plus systemic chemotherapy to treat the whole body. To give hepatic arterial therapy, we use a pump as shown here. It's the size of a hockey puck. We insert it under the skin and under the abdominal wall with the catheter threaded up to the gastroduodenal artery so that we can get perfusion of the entire liver. So one of the first studies we did here at Memorial was a randomized study looking at hepatic arthritis arterial therapy plus systemic versus systemic alone. Our endpoint was two-year survival, and as you see here, we did increase two-year survival with the use of the hepatic arterial therapy. The next slide shows an update of that New England Journal article where we had 10-year follow-up on these patients, and at 10 years, 41 percent of patients who received the hepatic arterial therapy plus the systemic, the top curve, are alive, while only 27 percent are alive when they receive the systemic therapy alone. One could ask, could you get the same results with modern systemic chemotherapy? And one of our surgical fellows asked this question, and the answer is here on the slide. Patients were looked at who had received hepatic arterial and modern systemic chemotherapy, the top line, versus systemic chemotherapy alone. The systemic chemotherapy was either oxaliplatin or arena TKN based therapy after liver resection. And as you can see, the survival significantly increased in those who received the hepatic arterial therapy plus systemic. And what is not shown on the slide is there was also a significant increase in uh, progression-free survival. In our next study, which we just published, we used hepatic arterial therapy and systemic therapy to treat patients after liver resection. We decided to test whether bevacizumab, an anti-VEGF agent, would increase disease-free survival. Unfortunately, it did not, but as these curves show, there was an excellent survival for both study groups with a four-year survival of 85 percent in the group who just had hepatic arterial therapy and systemic therapy, and 81 percent five-year survival in those where the bevacizumab was added 
to the hepatic arterial therapy and the systemic therapy. Unfortunately, many patients come with unresectable disease, as shown on uh, this slide. This patient clearly could not go to resection because of the volume of disease, because all vessels were involved, bilateral disease, and by using hepatic arterial therapy and systemic chemotherapy, we were able to reduce the tumor so that she was able to undergo resection. The next slide shows you the results we got with this combination. So we're using good systemic chemotherapy plus the hepatic treatment. We had two groups of patients. The first group was previously treated. We had 26 patients who had received prior chemotherapy and were not able to get reductions and then received this treatment. And you see that 85% of these patients responded and 10 or 38 percent were able to go on to resection even though they failed first-line treatment. The next group were patients who had not received any chemotherapy prior to seeing us and 100 percent responded and 57 percent went on to resection. The next slide shows you actually what happened to all these patients on the previous slide. We know now that numerous systemic chemotherapies will give you good responses, and you can get about a 50% response with systemic chemotherapy, but this is a, a much greater response. You can see that the majority, om almost every patient, had more than a 50% response with this treatment, even though 55% of the patients were previously treated. And you also can see from this is the, the tremendous volume of reduction. So this is how we were able to get these patients to resection. We now are getting much better results with our new agents uh, to treat metastatic colon cancer. However, when patients progress on first-line therapy, the results with second-line therapy are not as good. The response rates are as low as 11% in some studies and get up to maybe 35%. The one-year survival is around 40 to 50%. If we use these modern systemic chemotherapies with hepatic arterial therapy, our response rates are much higher, ranging from 64 to 90%, and the one-year survival is in the 80% range. The results shown in this presentation demonstrate that HAI therapy with systemic therapy improves survival for patients after the resection, as well as for those patients who present with unresectable disease. Our hepatopancreatobiliary service collaborates with referring physicians to provide convenient care for patients. Physicians who wish to refer a patient for consultation can contact our physician referral service at 1-800-525-2225.